League's own French duelist. To counter her, pick someone like Jax because of his dodging mechanics as well as leaps to keep distance when she ults. Pantheon works as well for the same reason even though his jump is relatively more complicated to pull off without minions, and Renekton can burst her down quickly and also get away with his increased dashes over her single one. Darius who can out damage her pretty easily in the early game, Singed if he can wait out her repose before throwing her back, and Malphite if he doesn't get reposted from his skewer ultimate make other good counters too. Fiora's passive makes her identify enemy vitals, and whenever she hits one of these, she deals bonus true damage. Her Q allows her to dash a small distance and also strikes an enemy if they're nearby, but it prioritizes vital strikes. Her W is called Repose, and it makes her invulnerable to non-turret damage, as well as slows enemies with strikes, or stuns them if she's able to repose at least one immobilizing effect. Her E is an auto attack reset that grants her next two autos extra range and attack speed. Finally, her ultimate makes her select a target and she gains extra movement speed towards him. She also identifies four vitals and if she hits all of them or strikes even just one before the target dies, she'll create a healing zone for her and her allies. Be careful about exposing your vitals since she'll be looking to striking you for free whenever you're near. Fiora when played in the top lane uses teleport as well as flash. I always recommend taking teleport versus teleport because it allows you to play safely instead of going for engages which you might not want to do versus a Fiora in the early game. As for power spikes, level 2 when she adds a repose to her Q is a very interesting power spike for her. Most Fioras go for an early Ravenous Hydra and they'll build a Vampiric Scepter first. If you're wanting to fight, go for Executioner's Blade if you're AD, but if you're wanting to just stay alive, build some armor and you'll be fine, provided that you can keep your distance and understand that she'll win trades at this point. Her early is not spectacular, but she'll destroy you if she gets a lead. Late game, she becomes a monster. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, punish her if she misses a vital after using a Q, wait for her to use a repose before using C see and be smart about it, and Thornmail can come a long way in helping you destroy her by herself.